How's it everyone and welcome to the unboxing and review of the Vast Fire Bicycle Indicator Light. Full disclosure, Vast Fire did send me this light for review and it doesn't influence my review at all. Upon opening the box you are presented with a remote that has three buttons on it. The light has three sections of LEDs on it. You get two rubber bands to fix the light as well as the remote to your bicycle. You also get a USB to micro USB charging cable as well as some documentation on how to use the product. I wanted to test some Something with this light so I asked Vastfire to send me another light which they did so I'm unboxing another one here. Now what I wanted to do here was take one remote and control two lights and see if that worked. So I managed to sync them up as you'll see in the video now and it worked really well so I wanted to test that on the bike. It fitted either on the front of the bike and the back or on the back as well as your helmet. Operating the light is very easy you just press the button on the top of the light to switch it on and then you use the remote to indicate left right or press the brake light. The only option which I find strange is when you press the flashing option which flashes between blue and red which sort of makes you feel a bit like a policeman riding around with the blue and red. I think Vastfire should have just made it flash red rather than blue and red. Looking at the size of this product you can see I compare it again with an everyday item like a pen. The item is 125 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters high and the remote is around 51.5 millimeters long and 40 millimeters meters wide. They're quite thin and they fit really nicely to the bike as you'll see now as I fit them. You may be wondering what this clamp device is on the handlebars and that is the Vast Fire headlight set that I reviewed earlier. So please check out the link that I'm putting up now for that video. If you do purchase two lights to use with one remote, make sure for the front light that the power button is facing down like in the video now because if they're facing up it will be opposite lights indicating so you'll be indicating to the right with the left button on the remote while the back one is indicating to the left which is the correct way. So just make sure you switch switch that around if you ever do fit a light to the front of your bike. The LED rechargeable light has a 500 milliamp battery and charging time is roughly 1 to 2 hours and service time or usage time is roughly 4 to 6 hours depending how often you use the remote to control the light. The light is also waterproof for rain or splashes. Do not submerge the light because it's not water resistant for underneath water. Now fitting the light to the back of the bicycle you'll see the power button is now facing up so when you press the remote button for the left indicator the left light will flash and the right for the right light. Once fitted you press the little power button on the top of the light and you'll see a small LED red light showing that means the light is ready for usage. Pressing the remote left indicator you'll see the left indicator light flashes Moving on to the right indicator, pressing that will then flash the right indicator light and the same for pressing the red brake stop light, that will be a solid red light or if you feel like being a policeman and riding around with blue and red lights, press it again and that would flash and make you feel like a policeman. Earlier on I mentioned fitting the light to a bicycle helmet. Now the rubber bands they supply are not long enough to fit around the ribs on the helmet itself to then secure the light onto it. So if you have longer rubber bands that you can use then those should work. Just make sure the light is fixed properly to the helmet and is not loose. I used cable ties as you'll see now to fix the light to the helmet and make sure that the power button is facing up in conjunction with the light on the back of your bike so that the signals on the left are both on the left when using the remote. So a request to Vastfire, please include helmet adapters or longer rubber bands so they can be fixed to helmets. So now this is the test that I wanted to do why I requested two lights from Vastfire. One is fixed to the helmet, one is fixed to the bike. They're both facing up with the power button, they're both on and as you can see the left indicator light works when the left one's pressed on the remote, the right works on the right and the brake light works when pressing that light again 
And once again, if you want to be a person of the law, you can then press the blue lights flashing and ride around like a policeman. You need to press the buttons once again for the indicators to switch off and make sure you power off these units when you're finished using them. When the remote battery runs out, this is not rechargeable, so you need to replace it. And this is a CR2032 like I am showing in the video now. So that's for the remote, you remove the cover from the back, also the clamp that's holding it to the handlebars, and then you replace that. With regards to the indicator light, you can see that's plugged in, and there is a red indicator light that is showing to show it's charging. And once that is charged, you will then see a green indicator light, which I will show you now in the video. So everything is set up. I got two lights to work with one remote, I fixed one light to the front of the bike and one light to the back of the bike. You'll see in the video this was recorded quite late at night but the camera seemed to pick up quite a lot of ambient light and street lights but you can still see the effect of the indicator lights. The camera doesn't capture it exactly as you would see it in real life but it is quite bright they do work quite well and you'll see as I ride away I indicate to the left and that comes on I then switch on the brake lights and those come on and the front also comes on as you can see riding towards you so this all works great you can see i'm indicating it doesn't look amazing on the camera because the red light is sort of hindering the flashing of the indicators but it is bright when looking at the bike and riding around but the camera is not doing it justice but overall it works really well i'm quite pleased i'm happy that i got both lights working with one remote so if you guys ever want to do that it is possible so well done Vastfire, thanks for sending me the lights, I really appreciate it. It was great testing it out, I'm enjoying the lights and uh, if you guys are looking for them and uh, you want to be a policeman like this now, uh, yeah, I recommend them, they're really good lights and uh, they last really long. So thanks again for watching, I'll see you for the next review. Remember to check out my review video on Vastfire's headlight set, you'll be pretty amazed at how bright these lights are for night riding.